Hello and welcome everyone to our 13th episode of our For the King 2 First Look series. Welcome, it's been quite the campaign so far, and it's and we're almost nearing the end of our journey here. Let's load right into it. So last we left off, we had finished entirely Boogie's Crypt, and now we have a new task. And that task is to find and defeat the Bandit King. So where is he? Do we know where he is? There he is, in the Gambling Den. So our current quest is to confront the Bandit King at the Gambling Den located at the foothills. And the Gambling Den is a dungeon, so as long as we're all in the foothills, we will be able to, uh, uh, someone can just pull us into them. So as long as we get out here, or out of here, uh, we should be okay. Uh, we do have a bunch of teleport scrolls left. Unfortunately, we don't have any portal scrolls to get the entire party out. So I think I'm gonna try doing... Oh, do I have a vi Oh, I have vision scrolls. That'll be useful. Um, oh, I see. But the vision scrolls themselves are limited in range. So, um, I'd like to do a little bit of scouting, but we need to hurry as fast as we can, really, getting our party over to the Bandit King. So, let's see. If I were to vision scroll here, there's a Sanctum of Focus. Didn't find a lot else over there. Okay, and I guess I can't look at anything over here. So, I think I'm going to get the wizard to, to be our scout for now. And I'm going to get the others to uh, try to book it over there as fast as we can here. Um, we might want to stop in Wisp or elsewhere. Uh, that is going to give us, uh, well, we'll be able to take a peek at what's in the, uh, what's in the store. And if we can get any last minute upgrades, because, uh, that'll be helpful. Alright. Okay. So we're fighting our death, the de death chopper here. Um... Let me get back into the game. Let's get a... Okay, cripple isn't going to do a whole lot. Let's get a pin down. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, we can still use it again because we got the ambush off. Pin down is going to give us the frost effect onto the death chomper. And then we can get a... Hopefully a good heavy ice bolt here. Yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. What about our hunter? Blocked? Oh, whiffed. I was gonna say, what? Blocked? Wow, we have a lot of gold in that hunter. 2,575 gold. Okay. So yeah, if we can spend, find a way to spend that gold effectively, that is going to be really nice. Uh, is that wizard that leveled up? Alrighty. Um, let's keep on going then. Who's gonna get the Sanctum of Focus? Possibly our Scholar? Uh, might start a uh, fight with this Anaconda. Uh, depending on how much movement we can get here. Okay. So, ah, I would like to find some way to, you know, teleport the people uh, further. Um, so, like, if we could find a alluring pool, perhaps.
But the only issue with that is that um, I'm not able to reach... Uh, like, we don't know where the alluring pool for the swamp is, and I'm not able to reach the foothills. Like, there's a couple tiles, I think, over here that... Wait a second. What? Why are there no question marks? I'm sure that there was a few tiles that uh, we missed exploring over there. Okay then. Um, I guess I'll just keep on going with the uh, with the scholar here. Oh. Um, well, that anaconda disappeared disappeared. Now we just have a different one. Let's have, head over to Wisp. Apparently they have a quest for us. Reduce chaos. Party XP. Party XP might be good. Uh, 320 gold. Don't really need that. Ruby bow. That is significantly more damage. Interesting. Okay, I'm not going to... Okay, we don't need reduced chaos here. Right? Um, we should be able to get there in time. I don't think we need to reduce chaos. I don't think so, anyways. Um... And are there any other things on the way? Like any other towns, perhaps? Is it just Wisp? It's all I can see right now. Anyways, let's take a peek at the market. Um, there's a fine healing pipe. Uh, gold armored ring, gold blessed ring. Ooh, plus two magic damage. That's a nice ring. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that for the scholar. I assume he doesn't have a better ring. One second. Um, intelligence ring? Yeah, that extra magic damage is gonna be really good on him. We do have a bit of gold, so we can spend a little bit more liberally. Um, assassin bow. That's exactly what we have already. Reinforced tower shield for our blacksmith, perhaps? Um, plus two armor and resistance, and plus two party armor. That looks like a decent option. A great helm. A slight upgrade. Guard helm. Not exactly what we're looking for. What about this assassin gear? We do have assassin gear already. Guard gloves. Wow. Plus four attack damage. Plus five armor, plus one resistance. Can I get like a bunch of those? Like one for everyone here? Um, in that case, that might be a great option for, um, Stable Hand. Let's see. Goblin Bracers, it's one less attack damage. But she does get bonus evasion, and she does get that secondary action. How many secondary actions does she have? One second. Um, plus two secondary actions already. Where did she get all those from? That's a good question. I don't even know. She gets plus one from Goblin Bracers. Does that mean she has two total? Well, I'm going to keep the Goblin Bracers on her, but perhaps it would be better for the Blacksmith. Um, most definitely would be better on the Blacksmith. Let's get some of those for him. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be good on him. He's currently got a Queen's Axe right now. Noble Boots. Artifact Shadow Thread. That's cool. Um, talent Boots, though. Wizard Slippers aren't going to be super useful. Um, let's grab reinforced um, tower shield. Let's get damage for that. Or, I mean, defensiveness extra for the blacksmith. And honestly, for everyone else, too. That would be really nice. 
a Warhammer instead of the Queen's Axe. Now that might be interesting. It gives Daze um, and Knock Left. Um, that Armor Break is going to be useful on the Queen's Axe, but this is a Vitality weapon. Okay, I think we're good for now. Um, teleport scroll. Um, extra God's Beards. Definitely gonna want uh, as many of those as we can get. Um, Golden Root, Panax. Let's get a Panax just in case. May as well just buy the herbs because uh, they're going to be useful. Um, Plus one primary action for the Scholar. That'll be good. I uh, don't think we'll need lockpicks. Alright. And you know what? I'll grab a teleport scroll. We have the money, and I'm sure it'll be useful. How far can you teleport with the teleport scroll? That is a decent amount. Okay, that is definitely a good amount of teleport. Ooh, so where do I go with them? Okay, I'm not gonna use it immediately. Going ahead to Queen's Cargo. Let's take a peek. Maybe not. I was going to, and then I realized that it's got a low chance, and the only other option is uh, that she would get into a fight that she might not win. Blacksmith's getting cut off, cut off by this boggling warrior over here. much as I would love to push on. Uh, with the two of them, can they do it? I'd say so. Alright. So... Oh, maybe we should... Can we take out the char charred fire shipper? Not quite. Not quite. Uh, bleed. Uh, oh, are, you're probably immune to bleed, aren't you? Yes, you are. So, bleed's not gonna do it. Um, let's just go, uh... Let's go with the heavy strike. You know what, just a slash. Slash will do. Then uh, Blacksmith will be able to finish that off. Or even the Stable Hand can finish that off fairly easily. Let's use Armor Break on the Boggling. It did not work, unfortunately. Oh, and Stable Hand got poisoned. Really? You poisoned me. I do have panics. Um, should I use it right away? Plus one focus. I'll be good without using it for now, I think. That still kills. Just the Poggling Warrior left. That'll be easily blocked, resistant. Or, yeah, blocked. Trying the armor break again. Not gonna get it. Should be able to do plenty enough damage here. Yep, there we go. That's actually more than I had thought it was going to be. Um, let's go ahead and share. And giant bow. Did we get a new bow for our um, hunter? Perhaps we did.
Uh, maybe I should instead give that bow to... Oh, right. We have selling to do. I forgot to sell things. We have been stuck with so many things in, in, in inventory. Also, why does the stable hand have a metal tower shield? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, give to the blacksmith. The blacksmith gets a slight upgrade before he gets this better upgrade that we just bought for him because I didn't realize that we had that upgrade. Breastplate. That's gonna go to him, likely. Okay, we've got a few things to, uh, to deal with. Giant bow, give to the blacksmith because the blacksmith is going to meet up with the, um, uh, with our, uh, hunter. I keep wanting to say ranger, but... Okay, blacksmith, what do you got here? You've got polished mirror for damage reflection. You've got two of them, actually. Shock ring, fine lightning axe and hand axe. Neither of those are great for you. Crude hammer, great hammer, giant bow heavy cannon, metal tower shield, that is definitely slightly better. Wooden heater, dented helm, visored helm. Um, yeah, I wanted to spread it out. No, you know what? I was gonna say spread out, but you could stand, uh, we could stack up the armor We'll be a little short on the resistance. Uh, breastplate. Vitality. Oh, that that's a that's a tough choice. Okay, we get plus one armor. We lose out on a fair uh, quite a bit of resistance. We're buffing vitality and speed. I think I'll keep the full jack. Uh, just because it does give the strength, which he's using for his axe right now. What is his vitality total? Okay, it's 81 and 83 for strength and vitality, respectively. Uh, let's give him these sturdy gloves for now. He'll get an upgrade later. What about his boots? Beastman boots is both plus three to strength and vitality. Okay, that is pretty good. Okay. Um, actually, Blacksmith. I guess they can both stop in Wisp. We've got a lot of selling to do here. Uh, um, Strength Ring, Riding Sword, Shadow Blade. Riding Sword is much worse. We want to keep the Shadow Blade because it's a speed based weapon. Boar uh, Spear, Battle Lance. Long stick, quarter staff, no use for those. Simple shield, we don't need simple simple shield because we have buckler and we have an additional sturdy buckler. Uh, we have a hag hat, um, armor, two of them. Goblin armor is pretty good, but it's just worse overall than the uh, loincloth that we currently have. Um, we have, oh, right, we have a, another loincloth that is just straight up worse. Um, go ahead and sell those. Traveling boots, not worrying about those either. Okay, so that's a bunch of stuff sold that we don't need to worry about. I think I will grab the, uh, a ruby bow's probably going to be really good. Unfocusable and breakable. But high damage. You know what? Let's do the ruby bow. And it is... Where? Oh! Taking the leather pouch to the Sanctum of Wall. Okay, I thought it was a fight. That makes more sense. And that's going to be a uh, real easy trip. Okay, I'm just gonna sneak through here.
Uh, do you have anything that increases your um, fine distance? Yes, you do. Okay, nothing's over here. That would be really unfortunate if it was that one tile over there. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport him. Ah, I got my achievement for teleporting ten times. Wonderful. Um, let's see. Uh, scholar. Yeah, go ahead and sit there for a bit. Hunter, I'd like you to keep on uh, doing a bit of scouting. Let's go ahead and ambush her. The witch. I should probably use some uh, golden root when I get the chance. Got so many herbs. It's, uh, it's actually a wonderful thing. Golden root, then let's grab pin down. It's gonna do some good damage, and then next time we're going to be able to do more damage. I thought oh, she's immune to ice. Okay, I, I didn't take that into account. I'm like, oh well just We'll put frost on her, and then, uh, and then we'll do more damage. We'll be able to kill her with the second shot. We would have been able to, yes. Um, but uh, she didn't have the frost immunity. Okay, let's grab that gold for the hunter. We have lots of it right now. That is quite nice. Kind of wish there was a dancing nettle, but I guess there's a specific, uh, like, the, the dancing nettle in For the King 1 was able to give you additional um, overland movement, uh, which was very nice. Excuse you, why are you going so slow? Uh, maybe I should uh, be giving the uh, teleport scroll to someone that is not very fast. Um, stable hand, your talent, quite low. Um, you've got the money. I'm just going to say grab. Um, wanted to take a peek in here just once more. Um, grab services. Um, grab the heal. One fun thing about the heal, it removes ailments and um, it doesn't cost your, uh, it doesn't automatically end your turn. Okay, let's take that bow, already devoted to a sanctum, so we're going to give that sanctum either to the scholar or the blacksmith. Either or will do. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? Um, not really. Okay, anything over here, then? No way that one tile over there is the one with the, uh, with the alluring pool. There has to be one every... Maybe not. Maybe there doesn't have to be uh, an alluring pool. Are there no alluring pools this side of the mountains? That would be interesting. I assumed there was going to be, but I don't think there is now. All right, so let's just uh, book it over here, if we can. Um, get everyone just inside of the foothills, and then we can uh, teleport over, grab, um, and get into that gabbling den. Okay, Hunter, now that there's nothing left to discover over here, we can get back over. You know what? 
Oh, that's a fight. I'm like, ah, you know what? We could spend a couple focus on this. Oh, wonderful. Our our hunter did get in with our stable hand. Okay, uh, we have two total secondary actions. We can just go ahead and uh, probably just move twice. She doesn't... Oh, I was going to say she doesn't have a way to get through armor, but that is not quite true. Uh, but it is now because I can't equip a different weapon. Okay, so we'll just go ahead. We'll use the cutting strike. We'll get the bleed on him. That's going to be good damage. And then let's go ahead and move over here. Get a... I will say pin down, but the pierce is going to be better for that. Ignore that armor. Good. And then hopefully we get a dodge here. It's only five damage. You reflect three. Hmm, bleed didn't do any damage there. Maybe it activates next time? That's odd. I didn't see any uh, damage from the bleed. Okay, let's go ahead, equip the shadow blade. And that's going to be able to cut right through his armor. Very easily. Crit for 40 HP. That shadow blade actually is pretty good. Uh, Assassin's bow. Wow. Okay. That is a artifact version of the assassin bow. Made of amber. So it doesn't do any extra damage, but it does have plus 10% crit chance. That is much better. Alright, I'm going to head over to the blacksmith. I'm going to give him a teleport scroll. Um, I'm going to use another golden root here just to get that movement going. And I just, I actually just want to sell all my stuff for my hunter. Blessed ring, that's going to go to our scholar. Fire ring for evasion, that's interesting. I might give that to someone else. I could wear it. But awareness ring, let's keep the awareness. That'll be good. Uh, let's, let's, okay, I can go ahead and sell the evasion ring and the armor ring. Uh, the speed ring, I won't need. Silver padlock for steel immunity, I can just get rid of that. Assassin bow, we already have one. This is our old one, we can get rid of that. Curved bow for penetrating shot, it is definitely going to be useful. So I'll definitely keep the curved bow. Um, goblin bow. This is a better goblin bow. And that's actually a good weapon as well. Okay. Crippling shot. Okay, the goblin bow has a volley. Gives us an extra, extra secondary action. Okay. The difference is... Is it worth it? For volley versus pin down. We'll definitely keep it on us. All these other uh, minor goblin bows, those can be sold. Um, uh, we will meet up with a blacksmith shortly so that we'll be able to... Um, Check out that other bow that uh, that he had for us. Horse bow is just a worse version of the assassin bow. Or spear, boggling spear, bardish, lance, battle staff, glaive, um, uh, long guard. What is that? Group armor up. Oh, well, that's interesting. That might be actually useful. I'm going to get rid of the Boggling Spear. Uh, Battle Lance. Hmm. It's got a push. That's interesting. Uh, I'll keep those two on me. Uh, Reinforced Tower Shield. That's going to go to our friend uh, Blacksmith. Traveling Hat. We got a Thief Hood. Much better. Imp Helm. Plus one secondary action. Well, that's useful. 
Um, but not quite as good as our thief would. Cut for purse cloak. We can sell that. All these things we can sell. Forest bracers. Um, crit chance, evasion, resistance, HP regen. We can keep thieves gloves. Light gloves, that's their starter item. Uh, guard gloves is going to be great on our blacksmith. And light, light boots. Alright. Okay, so we went through a lot of that. Still have five weapon op options for that hunter. No, actually, that's six, including the assassin's bow. So, oh wait, simple bow. We don't need that one. That's the one we started with as well. Okay. Um, uh, services. Uh, we've got a lot of spare gold. So let's just go ahead and, uh, let's just go ahead for a rest. Okay, we got the two movement. Let's go here. Let's, uh, swap our items to our hunter. I mean, from our hunter to our blacksmith. Uh, bless ring is still going to be good for um, our scholar. I'll give it to the blacksmith. Um, he's going to use a teleport scroll over there. Gold magic ring. Why do I still have this one? Okay. Uh, reinforced tower shield for the, and guard gloves for the blacksmith. And then he is going to sell all of his stuff. Acid and fire immunity. Gold blessed ring for someone else. Doesn't need a, an additional polished mirror. Vitality ring. You know, vitality ring is definitely tempting. I might equip this just so that he'll be good at the good for taunting. It is only rusty though. I'd love to get a better one. So I'll just keep the uh, I'll keep the polished mirror for now. Um, lightning Axe, it's not a great damage weapon, but it does do magic damage if it's needed. Needed. Um, hand Axe, don't need. I guess we do have Cutlasses, just in case we needed to stab. Um, what's better? We cut this Cutlass, right? Yes. Okay, crude hammer. We're not going to use the great hammer. We can get rid of that one. Giant bow. Right, that one goes to our hunter. Uh, um, Queen's heater. Go ahead and sell that. Reinforced tower shield. Um, equip that. And you can sell the other ones. Wooden heater. Don't need that. Dented helmet. Visored Helm. Um, I might equip the Breastplate. I think I might go for it. But I'll, I'll keep both. I'll keep both for sure. Beastman Rags. Get rid of that. Guard Gloves. Let's go ahead and equip those. So plus two attack damage, plus three, or plus two armor, and plus one resistance. Um, splint gauntlet we can sell. Fancy shoes. Uh, um, and the plate. Okay. And that'll be that. Okay. Um. Oh, and then we also wanted to give over the teleport scroll before I forget. Teleport scroll to the blacksmith, and he's going to get out of here. How far can he go? He can go all the way over here. Thanks. And then he can go ahead and give over the gold blessed ring 
to the scholar, which the scholar can equip. Alrighty. We got some bombs here too if we need. Oh yes. The scholar has a lot of uh, weapons. We didn't bring him to a town. Oh well. Ah, it's round 52, is it? Uh, I guess that means we're not quite getting the... Uh, the uh, bonus challenge completed do it in 50 rounds or less. Uh, oh yeah, both of our blacksmith and our scholar could have gotten this Sanctum of Wealth. Uh, oh, that's Sanctum of Wealth. Okay, that is a Sanctum, which means it's still very valuable, but that's not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was the Sanctum of Focus. I suppose we probably already destroyed that one. Um... I am... probably just going to uh, use my focus, teleport down here, grab this, get out, and hopefully that's that hunter is going to be real quick on, on our feet. Boat to the Sanctum. Got a gold multiplier. And then he can uh, teleport out over here. I suppose I could have moved first and then teleported behind this guy. That would have been the better option. Uh, let's go ahead and just fight. Okay, spirit does magic damage. That is perfectly fine with me. Ah, evasive. I could have put two focus into that. That would have been worth. He does have, um... Ay, ay, ay. Well, okay. I'm just gonna do it. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it, I'll make sure it hits. And then he'll die. Uh, we do have other things, like, plenty of, um... Like, we've got plenty of uh, different herbs and different items that we can use. Lots of good options there. Um, for when we get to uh, later fights. Uh, for now, I need to remember um, to swap off of this, but I'm going to use the spyglass just for the extra scouting. There's a stone hero. Alright, the Bandit King's getting impatient. We better, uh... We better go. We can use the focus here. We're going to get out of the foothills. We're going to see if I can do the same for Stable Hand. the range. Hmm, he's not going to be able to get in on that fight. That's okay. Yeah, I don't want him to get into, into, into that fight. Well, I don't want to get him in range of the bog, really, of the swamp. Okay, this will do. Oh! Well, that makes things more simple. Uh, now we just need to use one focus. Get out of here. 
and we'll be good. That means we can enter the gambling den. I can use all my focus here. Use the uh, tribute to the stone hero. Wow, that almost leveled him up. That's an, an impressive amount of uh, focus there. A impressive amount of other stuff. Oh, we don't have money here. Why did we go here? Okay. Well. Really? Really? You want to ambush me? Fine, then. I'll bite you. This guy. I just wanted to get into the... Uh... I, I just wanted to get into the thing. The gambling den. Alright. Not gonna make the same mistake as last time. Can you go ahead? Make sure he dies. Okay. So now... We can wrap up for the day as we approach the gambling den. So this is where we will resume next time. Thank you very much. We have one more episode to go. Our final confrontation fight with the Bandit King. Thank you all for joining us. And we will see you next time. Farewell, everyone. And have a wonderful day. <laughs>